Thank you. I see the light within you. And I think it's the most important thing. The light that you are makes a difference in the world. And the light that you are transmits as love, which we all need and the world needs. Humans tend to cover up their light with fear and emotions and substances. The more that we acknowledge the gift that we are, the brilliant being that we are that chose to come forward now and to live here now is the gift. And I think that it's a very big deal that it's now. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. I'm Lynn Cocker Murphy. I am an energy healer, a spiritual teacher. I was a special ed teacher and a university professor. But today my work is about helping people come into their own, to know who they truly are. And to embrace that and share it. I said that it's an important time, and this is an important place, and that's because Earth is very dense. And to be here in this form, we have to come bring ourselves down into density. Because if we're spirit, think about your aura. Your aura is usually taller than you, wider than you, it goes down under your feet, right? That's evidence that we're more than our bodies and we don't fit in here really well, but that's okay because the power that we are is included out here and affects the world. And that brings a responsibility to how do, how do you want to affect the world? Do you want to be a light and a positive? Do you want to help? Or, you know, we could just be about ourselves. I want what I want. But there's so much reward in having something to offer, in being love, in showing love, in helping others to free up their love. I think one of the fascinating things about love and about light is that light feels like love. And love looks like light. When I think of the great beings that have come before us, when Christ talked to people, his love transformed them. It changed them. When Buddha talked to an audience, his energy transformed them. People reached enlightenment just by sitting in his, being in his audience. That's how powerful we can be. And I think it's nice to consider that you can have that too, that I can have that too, that I can teach that too and help someone else have it. The truth is, for me, we're all part of the divine. We don't exist. We appear to exist separately, but we don't exist separately. You can't be separate from that which created you, that which is the life force that lives within you. We are one thing. The illusion is that we're separate. The truth is we are whole. And there's much that we can do to tap into that and step out of the illusion. You can go to a healer, go to a teacher, take a meditation class, take a yoga class. There are so many avenues. Two years ago, I traveled to India and I spent three weeks in a pilgrimage, deep immersion into ashrams and 
the Ganges River. <laughs> It was transformative, and we can choose transformative experiences whether you want to go with a shaman or go to the reservation or go out trekking by yourself in the wilderness. There are guides to help us with each of these things. The point being is that we have a wealth of goodness and light within us, but we weren't taught as children that that's where, or that we have it and that we can access it. We weren't taught that in junior high or high school either. Most were taught to cover it up, fake and be something else. But as we come more into our own and as we come into even more fully into this unique time period, we all have the capacity to drop the facade to drop the masks and we get to be who we really are. Now, maybe part of the challenge is, do you know who you really are? Can you access that? And of course you can. Part of the way that I consider this is that if I am part of something greater than myself, if I am a piece of the divine present here on earth today, that I have access to everything. When I access the theta brainwave state, moving out of alpha and out of delta, but into theta, then I access great truth. It's beneficial to me and it's beneficial to my clients to help them see themselves in a new light, to drop the a limiting beliefs that have guided their lives and to own their true self. There's such a richness in living with that. And I do want to, to own that I don't do it 100% all the time, but I remind myself over and over and over, go back and remember who you truly are. Remember that spiritual connection. Remember what it feels like when you're connected with the strength of all that is. That's what I call God, is the totality of all that is. And then I don't have to define it as a man or explain it. You know, it's just the totality of all that is. And it's mine and it's yours. And we each get to call it whatever we want and define it however we want. I believe that none of us are from here, that all of us existed before we came into this body in this time. In fact, I've seen, I've seen myself as a much taller being. I thought, well, that's fascinating. Wonder where that was. What's important is the consistency of the love and the light that I am, that you are, that shows up as compassion. That, you know, if you see a child alone on the street, you'd stop and say, are you okay? What do you need? Where do you belong? The compassion that leads us to hold someone's hand, to, to not be able to watch the ASPCA commercials about dogs <laughs> in need. <laughs> when I talked about what we were taught about how to be, it didn't include gratitude. It was how to fit in, how to be part of the crowd, how not to stand out, how to make your family look good. More importantly, is having gratitude for who we are and what we have right now. It's so uplifting to do a gratitude list every day. Email those to your friends. See if you can start a little group of people who share their gratitude every day. I belong to a group like that. And sometimes I'll forget a couple of days, but I'll get one of their lists and I'll be like, oh, that's right. Because it takes me out of, um, oh, I didn't do that right 
do these colors really go together? It, you know, it takes me out of that and into, oh my gosh, I have so much. I have a choice of clothing. I have a choice of jewelry. We have fresh enough area. Have you been to India? <laughs> we have fresh air here, even in our air pollution, compared to what other people are living with. Look at the quality of our water. And then there's always the gift of going out into nature. Forest walking. I think it was called forest bathing. It's something that they offer up in Sedona, Arizona. It's immersing yourself in nature. One of the other things that I learned was that you can put your hands on a tree and it will tell you something. The message just for you or a message just about it so you can understand nature better. Experiences in nature, walking on the beach at the ocean, you know what that does for you. Being where there is natural ions in the air because of the movement of water, like by a waterfall, it's exhilarating. And when we can't get out into nature, we bring plants into our house, we bring pets into our house, and they become carriers of life force. They enhance the prana, and we can all use more of that, whether you call it chi or prana, it's all the same thing. When I think about why we're here, I think we each come with a purpose certain things we want to learn and certain things we want to give. I've been told that my purpose, once again, is being a teacher. And that I've been teacher, a teacher in other places, other times, over and over and over. And so it was very easy for me to go to college, become a special ed teacher. And I love that I got to evolve out of that and be a teacher of adults on a spiritual path. I think in closing, what I want to share is that you're not alone. Be aware, when you can, of the angels, the ancestors, the teachers, the masters that are with you and that care about you, that want you to hear their voice. I remember one time I said something to them and I heard like applause and they're like, Yay, she, she hears us, she knows that we're here. They get joy in doing their job. I suggest that you persist and you have faith and you trust yourself because you have that inner knowing of where you belong, when you belong there, how to get there and who to take with you. I see you as the light and I'm so grateful that you're here and I'm so grateful that we get to have this experience together. Peace be with you. Thank you. Thank you.